their song period. In that boarding school I was the only black girl in my year. There was about a hundred, I don't know how many people in my year but yeah. No such thing as this girl is the perfect person, she has the perfect body because everything has just been We've just been conditioned by society and social media that that is what the perfect body should look like. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about body confidence. This is something that I'd never imagined to be talking about, but yeah, we're talking about body confidence. These are just five tips that have helped me personally achieve, if that's the right word, body confidence. So yeah, um, if you're new here, I do advice fashion and lifestyle videos so make sure you subscribe because there's going to be plenty of more girl talk and advice videos. So the first tip that is probably the most hardest tip that probably everyone goes through is to not compare yourself to other people. That is probably the hardest thing to do especially with our generation with social media and everything but I think it really does help. A tip, let me tell you story time about myself, so my journey. So when I was in year, when I was going to year 7, I got a scholarship to go to a boarding school. Um, yeah, I got a scholarship to go to a boarding school and in that boarding school I was the only black girl in my year. There was about 100, I don't know how many people in my year but yeah, I was the only black girl in my year from the age of 12, year 7, to the age of 18, which is the end of sixth form. And that is probably where my self-esteem and body confidence issues first happened, basically. Because I was the only black person, black girl, not person, but black girl, um, I already felt you know, alienated from the other girls and in addition to that, obviously I was much bigger than I am now I think, I was more curvy and whatever, you know, whereas everyone around me looked so, you know, thin and was sporty and blah 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 and it just really hit my self confidence basically and when you're in an environment for such a long time and everyone around you kind of is you know size six size eight you know they're skinny and they're coming to you being like oh my god jada like you know i'm so like i'm so fat like blah 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 like, i feel so fat and you look at yourself and you're just like <laughs> you know what i mean like I already felt so alienated and to look different and to my body to be so different that really had an effect on me and for other people to you know call themselves fat and be like oh my god I don't have a thigh gap or like blah 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 all this stuff and then to me look at myself it was very hard because I was in an environment where you know I didn't act the age of 12 you don't know that oh okay black people were more curvier you know some of us are more curvier and that's fine doesn't mean I'm overweight or whatever it's just how I'm built you know what I mean like I may be broader than other people so what doesn't mean that I'm any more bigger or less approachable than other people period so yeah throughout that seven years it was hard because of where basically just where I was just comparing myself to other people feeling like I am not good enough basically you know looking in the mirror and thinking why do I look like this like why am I why are my thighs this big why is my why are my arms big you know that person there you know everyone else around me all of these skinny you know pretty blonde brunette whatever people around me do not have the same body as me so you know what I mean so it was just very difficult it was very difficult so that is why I do these advice videos that is why I, because I've personally gone through it myself and come out the other side yeah 
two is to take time off social media. Social media is probably the biggest killer in self-esteem, self-confidence, body confidence, all of that because you're constantly looking at what other people do, you're constantly looking at what other people, you know, it's just the best version of someone that they're showing you, you know what I mean? And things like Instagram, people face tune, you know, they photoshop whatever, they just show you that, oh, this is what a girl is meant to look like and that is not good. Personally, myself, I have noticed how toxic social media is and sometimes I delete Instagram for a bit just so that I can get back into myself and what else do I do because I don't there was a time where I just unfollowed loads of influencers because I was too busy looking at them and looking at me and then comparing it just wasn't working and now I do follow some influencers but it's mainly because of fashion and what they're wearing and I want to see where they've actually got their clothes from because I'm obsessed with clothes but yeah now it's not as bad because I'm confident in my own self so I don't do the comparing thing anymore but if you are someone that does then I recommend not spending as much time on Instagram not s spending as much time looking at what influencers and what models and things like that are doing basically and are showing you TikTok that's new you know there is there'll be a video of a girl with you know not as big boobs or whatever dancing everyone's like oh like mm. and then there'll be a video with a girl who has bigger boobs doing the same dance and they'll be like oh she, she's trying to show off she's trying to show off she's trying we can't like why is everything to do with our bodies to do with oh my god why is she showing off we're not showing off she's just dancing she can't control what like we're literally dancing we're not trying to show off any area of ourselves period so things like that and you know comments and different things on social media that can really damage social i mean body confidence so social media taking time with social media is definitely the second point number three is fine clothes that compliment your figure compliment your figure i don't care if you think you have a your bum is too small or whatever it's not there's no such there's no there's no such thing as this girl is the perfect person she has the perfect body because everything has just been we've just been conditioned by society and social media that that is what the perfect body should look like you know so find clothes that complement your figure, you know? Find clothes that there's often times where I have ordered some I've ordered something, it looks good on the model that is not my size, it comes to me, I try it on and it doesn't look good and it makes me feel bad about myself. No, that's just that just looks good on this person that's this size. There's other types of clothes that look good look better on me you know what i mean different things flatter different body types period of course there are different types of shapes of models but personally i think you know it's probably very much harder to find clothes if you are you're plus size i do see plus size clothes and things like that on different websites but personally i think that there should be more i think that models should not just be the skinny type of models that we see when we're scrolling through the internet I think it should be all different shapes and sizes you know plus size plus size models why can't there just be models everyone is different sizes there shouldn't be a model like this is what you're meant to look like this is how tall you're meant to be this is how your body shape is meant to be no there's personally I think there should be more models of different figures and there should be more clothes available for plus size models because personally when I look on the internet I don't see many there's even some sites that don't have sizes it literally goes up to a size 12 and it stops that's not on personally that's just 
not on. It ain't on. It ain't on. Point number four. Point. Um, you had your you, you look at the positive aspects of yourself. Find. Don't focus on the negative. There isn't a negative anyway. That's what I'm telling you. But when you, for example, when you look in the mirror, don't be like, oh my god, my thighs are so big. Be like, oh my, wow, I look thick today. Yes, yes, that's me. That that's me. Like, that's me. You know, if you if you think, oh, can't think of anything. Think, oh my god, like my arms are too big. No, think, wow, I look so I look so good today. Like. My body looks, my figure looks so good today, like, don't just focus on the, don't just come up with negative things to say about your body, think about the positive. In addition to finding the positive, you should also set goals for yourself. If you are someone who wants to get fitter, or lose weight, or gain weight, or whatever, set the goals for yourself. You can't achieve what you want to achieve without determination and resilience and persistence so set goals for yourself think you know write out a calendar of the month write what days you're going to do what you know what fitness things you're going to use um personally if you would like me to tell you you know ask in the comments and i'll reply but i use a range of different fitness programs yes and if you're gonna diet make sure you stick to it make sure you make a plan not an unhealthy plan a healthy plan where you balance different types of food in your diet step number five is to accept that there's no perfect body you know what i mean no matter what guys say or other girls say there is no perfect body and i think do not base your body confidence on the guys or the opposite sex or wherever you're attracted to because girls guys don't help i'm sorry they don't help should how big you know something that's put on my like literally not even my control determine how much you like me or not determine how attractive i am you know why should the size of my boobs or my bum, whatever, dis you know, distinguish how attractive I am? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. It does not make sense. So yeah, definitely, I know it's very hard to, you know, think that, okay, I'm not getting any attention from boys or whatever that means you know it's me it's my heart it's my body no no because there's someone out there that would like you for you another you know examples in my old school none of the boys were attracted to me it's not because of me it's not because oh my god i'm the only black girl blah 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 i'm bigger than anyone else so what it doesn't mean that no guy in the entire world would not like me you know so definitely do not base yourself your body confidence on boys and what they think or one boy or if someone doesn't find you attractive no because your body confidence should come from yourself it shouldn't come from other people's compliments or how or you know attention from guys it should come from yourself write a comment comment if you like this if you want me to do more advice girl talk videos and yeah see you in the next video subscribe like yeah, yeah, yeah. bye